All right, legends, welcome back to video number 19 on PHP and MySQL. And in this video, I wanna talk about variables that have a Boolean and, and or null value. So Boolean equals true or false, and null is a variable that has a value that is not equal to anything. So in the last few videos, we've been creating variables that contain a number value and also variables that contain string values. But now I wanna talk about variables that contain a true or false value, which we refer to as Booleans. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete all this. Create new PHP tags. And we'll go ahead and create a variable called Boolean1. And I'm going to equal it to true. Now, this is the only time where we can create a word and we don't have to put it in quotation marks. It's not like a string where every element or word has to be in quotation marks because Boolean is just true. It's just true or false. So keep in mind, you don't have to put in quotation marks. And Boolean variables are also non-case sensitive. So we could also write true like that and our server and browser would read it the exact same way. So I'm just gonna leave it as lowercase to avoid confusion. And I'm gonna go ahead and create another value. And hold on, I got a phone call. Sorry about that, welcome back. Hope you, hopefully you guys are all still here. And I'm gonna create this variable. And I'm gonna call it Boolean2 and I'm gonna equal it to false. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to type in some text. We'll call it Boolean1, open new PHP tags. And I'm going to echo Boolean1. I'm going to close it out. Give it a line break. Boolean2, PHP, echo Boolean2. Okay, so as we can see here, Boolean 1 was set to true, and Boolean 2 was set to false. And in PHP, if something is true, it outputs it as a 1. And if it and if it's something is set to 0, it outputs it as nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and save it, and I'm going to reload this from our last video. And there it is. Okay, so Boolean 1 outputted it as 1, which means we know it's true. Boolean 2 outputted nothing, so we know it's false. It's perfect, because that's exactly how we read it up. And what else do I want to talk about? Okay, I think we could talk about null in this video. I want to talk about... Damn, I got another phone call. Huh? About that, I promise it won't happen again. So, okay, where were we? Okay, we talked about Booleans being true or false. So now I want to talk about null. So now that we know what Boolean means, I want to talk about the variables that do not have a value. And we call these variables null, N-U-L-L. -L. So how I'm going to test for null is I'm going to go ahead and create more PHP tags. So I could just use these variables up here. So I'll create doo -doo -doo. Oh God. Boolean one is set. And let's go ahead type is set is the PHP function that lets us know if a variable has been set or not. And we both know that our Boolean is set to true, so it should output as a one. We'll see. So let's go ahead and type in our variable, Boolean. We'll go ahead and close this out. And let's go ahead and do Boolean two. Boolean two. I don't know why I wrote this like a variable. It's kind of thrown off from that phone call. I apologize. And let's go ahead and see if this one is set. Echo is set. Boolean 2. I didn't even put the 1 back there, so it wouldn't have shown up correctly. There we go. Okay, so now how are we going to determine if something is not set? Well, we're going to go ahead and create a variable. Well, we're not going to create a variable. We're going to add a variable in our is set function that we have not created. And we're going to see how it's not going to output into our browser. So we'll go ahead and call this boolean3 I am all over the map this is boolean1 this is boolean2 and we're gonna see if this is set so we're gonna go ahead and open up new PHP tags and we're gonna echo is set boolean3 now boolean3 should not show up as anything because we're checking to see if it has a value or not we're checking to see if it is null either it has a value or it does not have a value so let's go ahead 
and save this. Let me give this some break tags. Uh oh. Not enter. Let's go ahead and save this. Reload it. Okay, perfect. Okay, so up here we checked to see if our Boolean was true or false. We found out that we created a variable that Boolean 1 was equal to true and Boolean 2 was equal to false. And then down here we created, or we used the, the PHP is set function to see if it had a set value. And we created variables for 1 and 2, but we did not create variables for Boolean number 3, so that's why it did not output anything. So we checked to see if this was null, and it is. Boolean 3 does not have a value. So now that we know what null and boolean is, we can go on to, these, these aren't going to make as much sense right now, but when we start adding logical operators, you guys are going to understand why we use these, because we're going to check to see if something, and whether it's there or not, then we're going to ask it something else. So stay with me, I hope you guys are following along, and I'll see you guys in the